Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to use my grunge backgrounds. My name is Katrina Brown and you can find any of my products at creativephotographybackgrounds.com or adorableshots.com. I'm going to show you today how I use my grunge backgrounds with models that I've shot indoors such as this one and turn it into that. Now I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail of precise uh, extraction because that's not what this video is about. There's a hundred different ways you can do it but I'm going to generally show you. So let's get started. Okay, so I want this model to be extracted so that I can put her on any background I want. So I'm going to take a little bit of time to really refine it, not in the video, but for future use and save it layered so that I can always put her on any background I like. Models really appreciate this if you're working with them because it gives them different options for their own portfolios. Okay, so let's get started. For this, I use my background eraser tool located here. And I make sure that I choose for this particular model because the colors are so close um, and her skin color and all that is pretty much in the same tonal range. So I'm gonna do find edges at 85% and I'm gonna protect my foreground color. So I'm going to use a very soft brush, make sure that my hardness is at zero. And I'm gonna color pick the colors that I want to keep. So I'm gonna pick, cause this is too black, I'm gonna pick about right there. And I'm gonna start, so I'm gonna click and hold down. See what a nice edge that gives? See that? Very nice. And if it's not working, like say I go here, well, it's working there actually. But if I find a color where it's bleeding over, well, that's not. But if it were, try to find one that was, but it's not. Um, you would just keep color picking. Let's say we lost a little bit there. So step backwards, we would just keep color picking a new color until we found what we wanted. Okay, so on and on and on and on. What we end up with here, once we're done, is this. Now. What I will then do is drag this layer onto, once I'm finished, onto my background. But first we need to do something with the background. If you notice, this background is blurry right here. This is the original file that you get completely in focus in the background. Now, there's a reason for that. I want you to have complete control over your depth of field so that it looks more realistic. So if we take the model off and we take the shadow off, what I did with this one, I'll take the original file and I'll show you. You take your marquee tool, your rectangular, and I'm going to select the background that I do want to be blurry. And I'm going to pick a line where I think my depth of field should start falling off. I'm going to choose there. And I'm going to go to feather. And I'm going to feather that 15. And then I'm going to go to my filter and I'm going to choose Gaussian blur. And I think five should do the trick. And click OK. Now take my marquee tool again and I'm going to select the foreground where she's going to be standing. It's not quite as sharp as in, in focus as her feet so I'm going to make it more sharp by going to my filter again. I'm going to go to my unsharp mask and for this application I like it to be 300 percent. Click OK, deselect. So now you have a more realistic background where if the depth of field really did fall off because she's in focus and it'll make her stand out a lot more as well, you now have that effect, which gives you this. And then when you have your model on here, it looks gorgeous. And it gives you that option to blur it even more if you like and change whatever you want. Now, we have another issue here. She looks cut out because there's no shadow. And if you notice, I create my own shadow and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Create a new layer by clicking the sticky note, making sure that it's underneath her, and you're going to use a fairly large brush. So go to your normal brush tool, hit the D key, or reset your palettes to make sure that black is in the foreground. L very large brush, make sure that your hardness is completely zero, and make sure that your opacity is 10%. Now what you're going to do, the light is coming in this direction, if you notice where the light is hitting her. So you want the shadow to fall that. So paint, paint, paint. Paint over and over and over again. And now you're going to take your eraser tool, normal eraser, and you're going to, again, use a very soft brush. And you're now going to erase 
that shadow to make it look more realistic. See how nice that looks? And if you make a mistake, it's on its own layer and you can start over. And you can also change the opacity of that if you don't like it, if it's too dark. Change the opacity, lower it or raise it. And there you have it. That's how you can effectively use my grunge backgrounds. If you need more tutoring on how to extract a model with a lot more detail, I do have those as well. Again, creativephotographybackgrounds.com. And I hope this tutorial has really helped you. Thank you.